Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. And for those of you who are new to the tribe, happy to have you here. Um, I am recording this before um, the new moon, but we'll upload it after. So new moon blessings, new moon and cancer blessings. Be sure to, if you missed it, to watch the reading for that. I always do a full moon, new moon reading. Also, in case you missed it, I already did the July 2024 monthly Love Tarot Energy update. So check that reading out um, where I go week by week for the month. And the messages were pretty interesting. So I'm going to pull from Archangel Michael's Sword of Light Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see your message. Aw. Number nine, don't give up on love. A relationship you cherish can be healed. Allow me to clear the way for forgiveness so that love can thrive again. And I love the dolphins. Don't give up on love, Gemini. That's a good sign. So I'm going to pull, um, I'm going to pull the main spread, give you my impressions. We'll get the details from the clarifiers. Here we go. Overall energy, Emperor. Yes, Divine Masculine. What's the challenge there? Page of Swords. <laughs> How Gemini of you. Yeah, um, so the Page of Swords often comes through as seeking some information. There's some, some kind of truth that you're trying to ferret out. There's a little bit of difficulty, um, maybe just with you understanding like where this is, you know, where this person's coming from, something you don't know that you want to know, you're, you know, trying to play spy or detective, but the clarity isn't there. Yes, three of swords in your unconscious awareness. So there's, uh, I feel like you, you're trying to get a clue as to what happened. Something happened and it, it um, either hurt your feelings or caused you some heart heaviness. Ace of Pentacles in the past. So, right, new beginning, maybe an up-leveling of the connection, possibly an offer came in from the Emperor, but then something might have gone sideways. Justice <laughs> in your conscious awareness. Hey, that ain't fair, I hear you saying. And in the near future, Two of Pentacles, a decision um, you'll be weighing realities on the ground and, and trying to um, find the balance as you determine what you're really dealing with. That's what I think I'm looking at. You're not really sure what happened here. And you're trying to get a clue, but the clarity isn't coming through. So let's jump in. And, and, it, and it feels unfair. And it feels to me like in the near future, there's this sort of process you're going to have to go through to um, determine what it is that's really happening in real time. So let's see the Emperor and the Page of Swords. Page of Swords again. Page of Wands, Eight of Swords. Almost like you're wondering, am I dealing with an Emperor here or am I dealing with a Page? There's some measure here of you not, you know, not feeling... Um, like you can trust your own sense of what the reality is. The Eight of Swords normally comes through as stuck energy, but it's coming through to me as like you're, um, you're not clear. You're definitely not clear. You may be overthinking the situation, that's very possible, but the double hit of the Page of Swords coming in as the challenge around this Emperor with the Page of Wands, it's like maybe this person is you know, just out to get needs met. Maybe it really isn't what I thought it was because you definitely are nursing some wounds here, at least on an internal level. I mean, emotionally, right? You're, it's not like it's, um, I'm not seeing full on devastation, but definitely hurt feelings uh, leading you to kind of be frozen like a deer in the headlights. What, what's, what am I really dealing with? Oh girl, it's a day. I'm having a day. Yeah. Um, 
Maybe now we have some limited or absence of communication, separation between you and your beloved past life soulmate energy coming through. This is something, someone you have felt comfortable with that it's been real easy with up until now. Um, and now there's all this confusion. I feel like I'm, I'm feeling the seven of cups. I don't see it, but it's almost as if um, we were headed in one direction and then we took an, a, a turn somewhere and you don't have a clue as to what's happening. So with the uh, judgment card underneath, that de definitely feels like you're looking for some kind of either reunion or a reconciliation, depending on your particular situation. It's a general reading, so you got to take it as it resonates for you. Um, maybe open to some forgiveness for these hurt feelings that you're, or wounds that you're nursing. Let's see the Ace of Pentacles in the past. Ten of Wands. Double Ace of Pentacles. I feel like whatever was on offer to you in the past, it came as quite a relief, right? Like that 10 of wands is just an offloading of something very heavy. And here we have the nine of cups with that wish fulfillment, a sense of emotional self-satisfaction. So that's where we're coming from with regard to this emperor. Something on offer, a new beginning and up leveling, whatever it is, could have been just something that was said but it happened in real time it happened in 3d and then uh, oh so okay so i'm getting a little bit of a different twist on this something was said that's part of your page of swords something was said it wasn't a big deal right so in all of the beautiful energy of the ace of pentacles and oh what a relief and this nine of cups energy something was said and it wasn't right away but then all of a sudden you're like what <laughs> scooby-doo what's happening this doesn't feel good and now we're not in communication or very little um lots of hurt feelings and sorrow and heartache um, trying to find your way back to it, but not knowing your ne next best step forward. And that's the other page of swords that comes in as sort of the spire detective of the tarot, trying to ferret out the information. So I'm getting two different energies of the page of swords, one where something was said, it came in small, but then it was like, oh. And then the other page of swords is what does it all mean? I've got to figure it out. Justice in your conscious awareness, fairness, balance, harmony, a level playing field, queen of swords, double hit a Libra there, the fool and the hanged man. You're definitely assessing the risk here. Very practical minded. Le the, the Justice card and the Queen of Swords are both associated with the sign of Libra, which means that you're weighing things out. You're looking before you leap. Um, the Queen of Swords, as you've heard me say a bazillion times, is a truth seeker and a truth teller. But it's the truth that you're after and you're willing to wait. So I do feel like you're, you're okay with pressing pause. Um, sort of waiting for some enlightenment in the situation. As I said, one page of swords part message is something was said. The other page of swords is something needs to be revealed. And there's um, an aspect of that hangman that says hang tight. So let's see the two of pentacles going forward. Knight of swords. That's some Gemini energy temperance and queen of pentacles. You're getting a lot of balance cards in this reading, my dear, uh, my dears. Almost as if in the future, um, things aren't becoming any clearer. Things aren't becoming any clearer. 
So going forward, you now flip into this, I don't know how I feel about this, right? A little bit on the fence, maybe you'll be feeling torn, but then we get some clarity that comes in, a message or an offer of <coughs> some kind of truth being revealed that you don't have right now. And it's gonna require you to exercise a lot of self-control and re restraint. It's gonna require you to be um, inordinately patient, to uh, stay grounded, as grounded as you can, focus on yourself a little bit. That Queen of Pentacles feels like it's talking about self-care and stability. Um, and the temperance is sort of that higher octave uh, of spiritual wisdom that says in time, everything's going to work itself out, right? Every, and just go with the flow because it's all going to come into flow and balance in time. But I do feel something is spoken to, some kind of um, clarity that you don't have now will come in just at that moment, you know, where you're really on the fence trying to decide if maybe you should... You know, it's like, do I stay or do I go? And then you get a sense of just hang tight. So that's what I see so far. Don't give up on love as your oracle. And I can see why that's part of the message because everything here on, on the surface would look would, to, to anybody would look like pretty good, pretty good. But there's, there's something that you caught maybe even just auditory, something that was said in passing or wasn't made a big deal, but then it, in, in retrospect, you, you were like, wait a minute, that's a clue that there's something more I need to know. And the, the difference between the energy of an emperor and a page of wands is like, you know, epic. So it does feel to me like you might need to pull back come from more practicality, level-headedness, um, keep your powder dry, right? No, no impulsive decisions, says temperance, but something will be coming toward you that will help clarify and give you the path towards uh, uh, the, the best decision for you. That's what I'm seeing here. Now, before I go to the extended, and I'm going to, in the extended, I'm going to be looking at both of you pulled together, right? What's working for the connection, what's not, and what are the opportunities? What do they want you to know? What's their message to you, in other words? What are they picking up from you? What spirits guidance for you? Hidden energy, something you don't know but might want to, and then how things might unfold going forward. So we're gonna go deeper into the dynamic between you. And before I give you the astrology that showed up here, if you're enjoying the reading, please do subscribe below. Um, I put out the call last month and so many of you um, answered the call to help me get more visibility because there have been some changes in the YouTube platform or the algorithm, you know, a little bit of both. And so um, if you're not seeing my readings, always remember you can just go to your YouTube app and click on your subscriptions tab and you'll see all the channels you're subscribed to. But if you want to get those notifications, best thing to do is to kind of, right, log out of your YouTube or your app, log back in, sort of like a reboot, reset, you get it. But thank you to those of you who have really stepped up and been so supportive. And I love you all for that more than I can say, because it did just as I was about to go off the cliff totally, it did... Um, help me kind of regain my footing and we need to continue that so thank you thank you thank you all right here we go the emperor is aries the page of swords which we have twice is gemini libra aquarius the page of wands aries leo Aqua uh, sagittarius the high priestess is the moon um and judgment is pluto pluto rules scorpio we have Justice is Libra, as I said, so is the Queen of Swords. The Fool is the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. Hanged Man is Neptune, which rules Pisces. Um, more Gemini in the Knight of Swords. Temperance is Sagittarius, Queen of Pentacles, is Capricorn. Nice and steady. Grounded, solid. 
Okay, so that's what I have. I'm headed to the extended now. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you there in a second.